Live. This is Weekend Edition. Nice to have your company this Saturday morning. Now, amidst all the bleak news, there has definitely been some positives over the past year and a half. We've seen some amazing creativity in life and in business. Tina Tower is the author of Million Dollar Micro Business, and she joins me on Weekend Edition. Good morning, Tina. Morning. Thank you for having me and for the change of pace. <laughs> Absolutely, and it's an enormous and a welcome change of pace. Tina, uh, tell us about Million Dollar Micro Business. Sure. Um, so I have been in business for a really long time since I was 20 and am pretty obsessed about business and helping people bring their dreams to life. And for me, I was in traditional business for such a long time and then discovered this whole online world and fell head over heels in love and was like, you know what, more people need to know about this and know how to package their expertise into an online course. And so I'm pretty, you know, a book nerd. <laughs> so I wanted to contribute to that and make my own book that could help people kind of pick it up and get to the end and know exactly how to do it without, you know, the overwhelming confusion that so often stops people from going into business. Yeah, and that's the basic premise, isn't it? There's never been a better time for people to put their skill set to better use and, yeah. and create online courses that are beneficial for others. And at the same time, it's the ultimate win-win because you make money as you do it. Yeah, totally. And there's all sorts of random things. I mean, a lot of people think online courses think, you know, it's business and marketing and that sort of thing. But there's, you know, like my son at the moment is doing um, piano lessons. I've taken a, a course in how to do organic gardening. Like everyone has a skill set that can be packaged that someone right now, especially in the pandemic, is in their homes going, well, actually, I want to be able to learn this. How can I do it? So if you can take a little bit of time while you've got this kind of downtime with a world's in this super funky place to actually create something I think I think it's something positive that we can do with our time right now no oh, absolutely now can you tell us a few of the stories of the the creativity and wonderful initiatives that you've seen and been a part of yeah, well, I mean, like, there's the massive ones, right? So I've got success stories in my in my book that are kind of like, this person started and now they're doing millions of dollars a year. So those stories are in there, but they're not the, you know, they're not the super super relatable ones, and they're also the exception to the rule. Most people are going to start, and you can create a really good business that makes a few hundred thousand dollars a year, which is absolutely insanely fabulous. Um, but an example of that is, you know, a lady Carla who is in Gladstone, who has a hair studio and she's always been into body confidence and helping women with their with their confidence levels and their bodies. And she created her course and opened her doors for the first time and had 10 wonderful women come in that are all increasing their confidence. We've got Mel Brown, who runs my financial adulting plan, who is all into creating wealth for millennial women and learning how to invest in shares and property. And she's doing six-figure launches by helping other people as well. So I love online courses because it's kind of like, like you said, that win-win situation is you be successful by helping others be successful. Have you been heartened by what you've seen with how, and the, the words we've used a lot, nimble, you know, agile, but have you been heartened by what you've seen and the industrious nature of individuals? Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, when the pandemic hit, so last March, um, I put out a thing on my Instagram, which maybe wasn't the smartest thing at the time, but said, you know, if anyone needs to pivot their business really quickly because they simply can't be open right now, then I'll give away like sessions online. And I had 72 Zoom calls with people over the coming week in people literally saying, look, I can't pay my mortgage if I don't get my business online. How do I even start to do this? And so I was able to see person after person not lose the dream because, I mean, it's a huge thing to go into business. You're putting everything on the line. And for people to be able to not lose that but be able to pivot and go, you know what, everything that I've learned, all of this expertise, this unique kind of brilliance that I have in my head, I can put that together and I can help someone else and we can do it all online from Zoom, which, you know, we've all got used to Zoom <laughs> over the last 18 months a lot. We're exhausted and... by it, but we have got yeah. used to it. It's, um, yeah. it. It is pandemic proof though. That That is one of the things here because a lot of people will be cautious about exploring into any new business right at the moment. But what yeah. we're talking about here is pretty much pandemic proof. 
Yeah, well, I've seen growth across all of the online businesses and it's kind of, you know, you've got to be a little bit quiet about it because there's so much suffering in the business world at the moment with people with traditional businesses with bricks and mortar that are kind of going, you know, can't pay their rent, can't pay their staff that are going down. But then meanwhile, all of the online businesses are are shooting right up through the roof. So it's kind of got this big divide. And I think a lot of people with traditional businesses, we thought this was going to be over really fast, but we don't know what the lasting effects are. Um, And that's where the book comes into it is going, if you've got any business background, corporate background, any sort of special expertise, you can grab Million Dollar Micro Business and know all the steps to take to transfer that and, and to get going. Now, you've got a lot of things on your plate. You're a mother. You've got, no doubt, doing a bit of homeschooling. You've got, yeah. the, you've got the book. Tell us a little bit about the podcast as well, Empire Builder. Yeah, so I've got Her Empire Builder, which is all my mission in life, um, is by 2025 to help 100 women create a million dollar a year online business because I know that wealthy women change the world. What we see women do with their wealth is very different traditionally and the local impact that that has. Um, And so I'm trying to get a lot of women to think bigger and to do really incredible things. And I do that first through the podcast, Her Empire Builder, which is a free thing, and then kind of getting into the book. And then I've got online programs myself as well well that have such an incredible community of people that we really do live inside our bubble (laughs) you know we're living in this this optimistic world um that's kind of sheltered from from everything that's going on in the world right now yeah we need some positive positivity we need the color that you bring and you've been a real breath of fresh air to us and i i love the central coast where you live as well so thanks so much for coming Uh, on tina thanks for having